Hey Explorers, this is G.O.B. for Learning Around the World's Geo Show. If you're watching this live or in the future, I hope you're having a great day. And I am sorry if this broadcast is a little rocky. And who's that? Hi Dave, a little rocky, but I'm out on a kayak right now. So I'm at the mercy to the elements. But I wanted to show you something super, super cool. Uh, so if you're just popping in and you don't know who I am or what this show is, uh, this is called Geo Show. It's a live broadcast for Geo Show. Hi, uh, hi, Marge. Welcome. And up, oh, got some waves coming in. It's about to get rocky. So if you don't believe me, check it out. All right. So we um, we are on Lake Atitlan, and so if you're not familiar, Geo Show is a virtual expedition for classrooms. So currently we're in Guatemala, we just got here a few days ago, and we're researching volcanoes in this part of the world. And it's a very unique country because there's 22 volcanoes. Now it depends if you add, uh, if you include dormant or ancient or extinct volcanoes, uh, the number can get higher. But currently there's around 22 volcanoes and about seven of those are active volcanoes. And we're going to go check out Antigua and we're going to leave to go there sometime tomorrow afternoon probably. Uh, but this is a very important area. Uh, if you watched a broadcast yesterday, you know we were in the town of, uh, and show you San Pedro from the water. So sorry for the clouds, the weather is not cooperating with what I ordered today. So, uh, so this you cannot see because of the cloud cover is a uh, volcano Atitlan and Volcano uh, Toliman, which both of them are right, uh, Toliman and Atitlan. Sorry, uh, I'm trying to hold this steady for you guys. Uh, so they're behind the clouds there, and so we have three volcanoes on this lake. Uh, but what makes this lake even more important is not uh, ancient volcano activity here. So the volcano activity in this area goes back millions of years. However, about 84,000 years ago, I spin around. So we are currently on Lake Atitlan, which is uh, a crater lake. So there was a massive, massive volcano explosion here about 84,000 years ago that created this main cauldron that uh, we're on top of right now. Uh, the lake uh, itself at parts are over a thousand feet deep. And the unique thing about this lake is that water is not draining out of it to the ocean. So it's a crater lake. So it's only getting deeper. And uh, which we'll have on our virtual field trips next week some close up shots uh, over close to the edge. But there's dead trees all along the edge of the lake here. That's because the water is rising. And these trees are not uh, water trees. They're not meant to live in the water. So when the water level rises, um, when the water level rises, it it uh, it buries either the vegetation that's on the edge or structures. So there's actually this is a popular spot for some scuba divers, uh, and uh, because some structures are in or under the water level now. And you may ask yourself, well, who lives around here? Uh, mostly, uh, traditionally, it's mostly Mayans. So you'll notice uh, we're going to study the ancient Mayans uh, in a couple of weeks here in Guatemala. But the Mayans didn't disappear. So the indigenous Mayans, they, they still uh, live in parts of Guatemala, Mexico, and Belize. And uh, this, and there's uh, a lot of them in Guatemala. And uh, this area is pretty heavily populated with Mayans and uh, which I'm gonna try to turn around again so yes it is quite daring uh, Nick so I'm trying to be super super careful if you follow Geo shows Vulcan death grip on this phone right now uh, I do have a semi waterproof case for it so any water splatter is not gonna help it I uh, heard it very much uh, uh, if I can See, it's kind of it's hard to hold it steady, but if I can zoom in a little bit, I'm sorry the glare is so bad I can't see what you guys are seeing on the screen right now. But uh, the Mayans, so the, lo the local indigenous people, they still use this lake for washing clothes, for bathing. Um, some of them still use it for drinking water, although it's not very uh, very healthy. This lake has been shown to be pretty polluted 
um, over the years. Now, from what I gather, it was really, really bad uh, a few years ago, um, to the point where just the stench of the of the lake was bad. Uh, but now I don't smell it. I'm out on here. I think there's been a lot of efforts to clean it up, but it's still not safe. Uh, definitely in the drink, uh, the water here, because there's bacteria uh, in this lake. All right, we'll give it a couple more pans, and then we'll go ahead and call it on this broadcast, because I know some people have said it's kind of cutting in and out. So hopefully this records the entire uh, broadcast. If it doesn't, I'll try to upload it to YouTube. Um, All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this Periscope broadcast, Geoscope. If you're not familiar with me or our program, my name is Brandon Hall. You can call me GOB. I run this program called Geo Show. So we do live broadcasting, virtual field trips, which is video conferencing with classrooms live. Super cool stuff. And we're doing it all through Mexico, Guatemala, and Belize for 12 weeks. We're currently starting our fifth week. So we're studying volcanoes this week and next week. And we're super, super excited. Uh, to share uh, the volcano history, uh, ancient and current, with you guys in Guatemala and what we find out about uh, any kind of cultural information here in Guatemala. So uh, definitely share with your colleagues, other students, um, or if you're not a student or teacher, definitely follow along. We'd love to have you. If you want to comment during these live broadcasts, you need to follow me and I'll follow you back. I have it set up that way so we can keep these uh, clean the comments coming in because some classrooms do watch these live uh, So we're trying to trying to keep it that but besides that you're more than welcome to follow along and until next time guys as always keep exploring